what's up so it's your girl sunray coming at you guys with a very 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 lovely prophetic word on this very 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 lovely sunday okay um so your blessings are locating you your blessings are locating you so this morning the holy spirit started speaking about binding imprisonment um impediments when we think of impediments impediments are pretty much hindrances that are put in place to keep something from progressing to keep something from where it is a lot of you guys you have had encounter impediments or you have encountered hindrances in regards to your blessings getting to you but god is saying today that those blessings are locating you let me explain so god gave me a dream and in this dream there were mailboxes there were loads of mailboxes the thing with it was there were so many people that was having mail delivered it was like bags and bags i don't know if you guys know they have like these crates because i used to have it back in my apartment back in milwaukee where they like they put them out sometimes at apartment complexes to toss out junk mail but it um holds like mail the mail carriers that's what the mail carriers carry the mail into your mailbox and whatever so the thing was so many people had backlogs of mail that the mail lady had to put so much mail for each specific apartment into these things into these um into these crates and then she had bagged them up and put them on top of like people's apartment things like hey like you need to get your mail blah 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 right so long story short the apartment person came out and said hey i said hey like people may have an issue getting their mail or something like that he's like yeah people need to geotag and he was saying to me specifically he said you need to geotag your location you need to geotag your location now let's think about this in the mighty name of jesus this word is so good so geotag geotag is pretty much what us millennials do to show you wherever we're at so although we have a home address a lot of us we're in different places so for example i could geotag my house which i'll never do because it's online right but i could geotag like hey i went to the turkey leg hut geotag hey i went to the park i went to memorial park i went to um buffalo bayou i can geotag my location because why geotag and follows you it's wherever it is that you go now look this is what the holy spirit started speaking to me is that a lot of you guys it's not the fact that um the blessings did not come to you they came to your door the issue was there were hindrances for you guys being able to get to that mail so think about it when i was sitting there trying to get the mail i was like why am i not able to get the mail i said how can i open the mailbox how can i get the mail blah 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 like i saw that there was so much mail specifically i saw other people but i saw it was so much mail specifically for me and i'm just like god like i was like how you know how can i get my mail and i even asked a resident but they asked like i did not exist they was just like they thought i was waving them like waving at them goodbye so they just like waved at me and just kept walking and i'm like okay whatever and that's when the apartment person said geotag your location so the thing is is that the blessing is going to come directly to you wherever you are now you're like okay how can I access this? How can I access my blessings? The one thing is that God said whatever impediments that have been put in place, whatever hindrances, those were God um, ordained hindrances. Those were blockages that the Lord had to put in place to get you prepared, to get you ready, to get you set in stone for what it is that is being delivered to you. But now you're, you're ready. For many of you guys, God says that you have been just like Joseph for the last two years. You have been in a place where it's like God's been blessing you, but it ain't been like them huge blessings. You get what I'm saying? So for those of you who have been waiting like two years on a promise, get ready for those words to come to pass. And I prophetically declare that in the mighty name of Jesus because I wasn't even going there with that God. Thank you. Let's continue on. I'm like so excited because it's like, what? All right. So the two year blessings, a lot of you guys are receiving things that you have been told that you would get two years ago. You've been holding on to the promise. It's been hindrances. It's been blockages blockages from you receiving these things but not god saying like now is the time for it to come to pass now boom the key well when we go to scripture the keys to the kingdom of heaven right so they were given to peter after he declared in faith that jesus christ is the lord savior right so it was like your faith has given you access to this key so the first thing is that you can't have the keys to the kingdom if you do not have faith you can't have the keys to the kingdom if you don't have faith in jesus christ okay so that's the first thing right and not a win want to pick up that's the first thing so the second thing is is that whatsoever it is that you bind in earth it shall be bound in heaven whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven so a lot of you guys right now you're receiving this prophetic word what is it that you must do after you click off this video don't go watch another video don't go um pass go and collect 200 dollars. what i need y'all to do is get into god's presence and say god i heard this prophetic word first confirm if it's for me 
but a lot of y'all gonna know and you say lord i loose every blessing father that is meant to come to me those blessings that have been trying to locate me god i geotag myself in faith right now god i'm right here i am waiting for that blessing to come to me and god i know that you're not gonna miss me this time because it's coming directly to me wherever i'm at i may not be at home but god i'm right here and i know that i just geotag myself in faith father so that blessing is gonna locate me for you said in your word whatsoever it is that i loose on earth shall be loose in heaven and god i bind any satanic blockages any satanic hindrance in the mighty name of Jesus that will try to come up against the delivering of this blessing God for what you do um, for what you are about to do God no man can stop it the doors that you have opened father nobody can close and we talking about the keys of David in this season God has kept saying open doors open doors open doors and we know the doors that the Lord opens no man shall shut and the doors that God closes no man shall open in the mighty name of Jesus so right now I just want to pray over you guys and just declare and sue this prophetic word over you in the mighty name of Jesus God we just thank you so much not just for the revelations that you give us God but for your love God we may have been um, encountering impediments or different hindrances father but you have kept us God you have kept us in your presence you have continued to provide for us father you have continued to look after us God and we thank you for that God we thank you because we fall short of your glory and your mercy every single day God anybody that is under the command of my voice father I prophetically declare that all those satanic blockages all those satanic hindrances uh, Lord God that they are released right now in the mighty name of Jesus back to the depths of hell from where they come and those blessings God those packages God those people those divine helpers those things God that you wanted to send to your children that have found them but there's having issues coming directly towards them God I loose those things on earth father because you say in your word that whatsoever we loose on earth shall be loose in heaven so father I loose those blessings to your children right now God I speak divine acceleration over those blessings God I speak that this week father a lot of people will receive blessings father that they thought that you have forgot about God promises that they thought that you have forgot about father for you said you are a God that you put, you watch over your word closely, God, and you hasten to perform it in the mighty name of Jesus. So, God, I speak over the hastening of, of um, the promises that you have for your children, hastening over the rain, God, that you're pouring on your children in this season. God, I pray that you also give us vision with the provision that you're giving us, God, because we cannot have, uh, we cannot uh sustain our provision father without having a vision so god i pray that you give us a vision of what it is that you want us to do with these resources what is that you want us to do with these blessings what is it that you want us to do with these divine partnerships that you are lining up father in this week god we thank you so much and we love you and we will continue to worship and praise you god with these blessings we won't let it change us god for we have gone through the fire we have been tested and tried god and we knew that that was because we needed to prove ourselves worthy to you and to prove that no matter what happens God whether we have much or whether we have very little God that we will continue to praise you we will continue to uplift you we will continue to put you first in the mighty name of Jesus I pray this prayer and I seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus prophetically over y'all lives may y'all be blessed y'all go into this week strong declaring victory declaring your blessings knowing that your blessings have come to your home but the issue was there was hindrances you wasn't even home yet but in the mighty name of Jesus God has released the, released those hindrances you are getting prepared to walk into some of the greatest blessings you've experienced in your life. God is getting ready to do it. He is getting ready to do it. You sit here and you take this word and you allow it to encourage your spirit. Allow it to quench your spirit. Allow God to just continue to speak through you as you go throughout this week. For those of you who this word is for, I pray that you come back and testify to the goodness of the Lord and what it is that he is doing in your life to help encourage another believer, to help encourage another person that's just been waiting, to help encourage another person that's grown weary in their way because you know we shall not grow weary in well doing because in due season we shall reap and this is reaping season for God's children so many blessings that he has in store for you so many things a lot of things about two years ago so y'all need to start going through y'all journals and figuring out what y'all said to the Lord and what he said to y'all two years ago but I love you guys I pray that you have a blessed week and I, I keep throwing gang signs in y'all face so I'll talk to y'all later <laughs>